Good day, YouTube. It's still the 22nd of October. It's 2017. It's a Sunday evening. It's kind of raining hard outside. I had to uh, remove the starter on this 83 GL1100 because I've been cranking it quite a bit. Not horribly, but anyway, it quit working. So I had to pull the Marklin floorboards off, pull the engine cover off, um, shifter off, things like that. And then there's the uh, crash bar. And I just sometimes can't resist but you know the battery mounted right there and the worst place for chrome to be is like right under the battery and it was the worst uh, rust on this motorcycle spent quite a few years outside and look at that i have a few videos already posted on uh, my use of lime away and I used Lime Away on that muffler right there. And man, I wish I'd have done a video on it before I started because that was the worst rust on this bike. And oh my gosh, it's very, very acceptable. So I, I got to show you. Let's, well, while I got everything off, I just want to clean up this piece of the uh, chrome exhaust cover. Not that I'm not going to have it off again because I am. But let me show you just how incredibly easy this is to clean this rust off. So, I've got my itty bitty... Sorry, I'm crawling around here on the floor. I don't have any lift space anymore right now. Um, we're just going to put this lime away on, right? It's oozing all over. I put some towels down. We'll just dip the brush. I'm just using one of those uh, acid brushes. Get a bag of Harbor Freight or whatever, you know, for doing soldering and so forth. So we're just gooping it up, put it on the chrome. It's an acid, right? So let it do its work. Don't get it on you. Don't get it in your eyes. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It is so, so easy. I just can't tell you how many hours I've spent year after year after year working on stuff just like this and polishing away and probably not getting the best results because you work so hard to get the rust off that you take off so much of the chrome you get this is just eating it without destroying the chrome so now we're gonna just rub a little harder I should just back up and just do a piece of this um, for the video and then you get a good idea of how well this works. But let me dump a little more over here. And again, you get it like at the dollar store, right? So it's not, it's, it's cheap. It's almost as cheap as I am. These covers might not be as uh, quality of chrome as the muffler itself. And then to neutralize it, I was just using some, uh, I think I was using like white wall cleaner. Oh, hang on just a second. I packed it off. Let me grab it real quick. And the towel. Okay. Wasn't as prepared as I thought I was. Okay, I'm gonna lay back down here on the floor. Do, 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 do. Just a cleaning. Just a cleaning chrome. Man, I really thought when we first looked at this bike, I was like, man, no way, this thing's so far gone. Look how rusty the exhaust is. That'll never come back. Oh my gosh, was I wrong? It came back, it looks very acceptable, presentable. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, I'm just going to use this, uh, some white wall cleaner just to, it'll kind of neutralize it and clean it off a little bit. We'll just do this piece here. Now. Sure enough. And we'll let it drip dry for a moment. 
Will that fold the towel? Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll do something else while we're here. Uh, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. I mean, the pits are still there. I, I mean, it didn't replace the chrome or nothing. But look at that. Look at that. This bike was a piece of garbage that I didn't want to pack home because it was so far gone. I have underestimated what this stuff can do. Can you see it? Okay, well, hell, we're here. Let's see if I can get you up here on this valve cover. Let's see what we can make it look like. This is an aftermarket uh, chrome-plated aluminum valve cover. And it's still got some pits and stuff in it. Sorry. Okay. Let's just go after it, see what happens. We'll put it up here and kind of let it drizzle down a little. Again, lime away is what we're using. Nobody's paying me for this. I'm just doing it, doing it. Now, this thing wasn't like rusty. I get that. Just pitted stuff. Let's see. These little brushes work just fine. Gets in the little nooks and crannies and stuff. I hope my brother-in-law, Michael, watches this because he commented how rusty the exhaust was because, you know, the battery acids and stuff, you know, when they, something goes wrong with the battery and or the tube comes off that drains, supposed to drain the acid under the bike and stuff or whatever. When it all goes wrong, it all leaks onto the exhaust. I thought it was a goner. Okay. What's done there is done. I'm gonna make a mess on my floor. But, you know, small price to pay. Where's my squirt bottle? There it is. See if I can make that a little less of a stream. Again, it kind of neutralizes that acid there a little bit. Where's my blue towel? Is there anything left of it? That's not it. Oh, that was it. We've got it all screwed up. There we go. There's a clean piece of it. Wow. Should use my gloved hand. I run out of gloves today. This is my last one. I gotta go back to Harbor Freight this evening. Let me get a couple boxes of gloves. They were on sale the other day. Didn't get in there to get them on sale. For five bucks a box. Now, again, it's not perfect. This isn't put the chrome back in the pits or anything. But wow, look at that. And I haven't polished it or nothing. We just uh, cleaned the rust off. The oxidation off. And for what this bike is, there's nothing wrong with that. Right there. Looks good from 20 feet. And look at that exhaust. Is that great or what? And you don't have to w work at it. Now, I'll polish that a little bit, right? Just with the... A uh, blue towel and some polish, and there it'll be. So there it is. It's lime away. And we're down here on the floor, just down here to get the starter out, which I did, but I couldn't resist uh, seeing how good I could make that exhaust. But I was just shocked at how good it came out. So I'll uh, finish that up off camera. I promise you. Can you see me in it, laying down here on the floor? All right, guys. Thanks for again for watching, commenting, and subscribing. We'll catch you on the next one.